about here? Well, these are three reasons why I think that the future of energy in this country isn't going to be any cheaper. Big infrastructure projects that need to be paid for. And these inevitably get passed on to the consumer in cost. You've got the smart meter rollout, 11 billion. You've got new nuclear down at Hinkley Point if it gets done, 18 billion. And modernizing the electricity grid, initial costs are just at 30 billion. So these have got nothing to do with the EU. This is just what we're planning to do. So in or out, this is what's happening in the UK and this is what we're going to have to pay for. Experts say that this cost though could even start to rise. Up to 100 billion pounds of investment is expected in the electricity system alone in the next five to six years. And, and it's really important that we get this right. Two thirds of our bill goes on energy wholesale and network costs at the moment. So that for me feels like a more important area for focus. And of course, probably there's also the fact that tax is a tax. It's a way a government raises money uh, rather than necessarily paying it to the EU because, it, I mean, it wasn't even the EU introduced to VAT on fuel, was it? Tax receipts are enormously important for the government and energy is a constant that's pumped into every home. It's a way that they can take a small portion off everyone. And Vote Leave's argument, of course, was that this money would go to help some of the poorest households. Those on the other side of the argument will say that taxing higher and redistributing that can actually do more uh, good than just erasing it altogether.